Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi! Today, we want to share about how to build resilience in ourselves. First of all, what is resilience? Let's see. In psychology, resilience is the process of adapting well in the face of adversity, trauma, tragedy, threats, or significant sources of stress, such as family and relationship problems, serious health problems, workplace and financial stresses. As much as resilience involves bouncing back from these difficult experiences, it can also involve profound personal growth. So, how can we stay resilient? Firstly, we must be optimistic. Staying positive during difficult times can be difficult, but maintaining a hopeful outlook is an important part of resiliency. Being an optimist does not mean ignoring the problems in order to focus on positive outcomes. It means understanding the setbacks are transient and that you have the skill and abilities to combat the challenges you have to face. What you are dealing with may be difficult, but it is important to remain hopeful and positive about a brighter future. Secondly, we have to nurture ourselves. When we are having stress, it can be all too easy to neglect our own needs. Losing your appetite, ignoring exercising, not getting enough sleep are all common reaction to a crisis situation. Focus on building your self-nurturance skills. Even when you are troubled, make time for activities that you enjoy. By taking your own needs, you can boost your overall health and resilience and be fully ready to face life's challenges. Take a short 15 minutes break at work to relax and recharge your batteries, as it helps your coping strategy. Next, we should build a positive belief in our abilities. Self-esteem plays an important role in coping with stress and recovering from difficult events. Remind yourself of your strengths and accomplishments. Becoming more confident about your own ability to respond and deal with crises is a great way to build resilience for the future. Then, we must develop a strong social network with people surrounding. Having caring, supportive people around you acts as a protective factor during times of crisis. It is important to have people you can confide in. While simply talking about a situation with a friend or a loved one will not make troubles go away, it allows you to share your feelings, gain support, receive positive feedback and come up with possible solutions to your problems. The activities we engage in with friends help us relax and have a laugh. It boosts the immune system that is often depleted during stress. Another way to stay resilient is that we can take steps to solve a problem. Start working on resolving the issues immediately. While there may not be any fast or simple solution, you can take steps towards making your situation better and less stressful. Focus on the progress that you have made this far and planning your next steps rather than becoming discouraged by the amount of work that still needs to be accomplished. Last but not least, we have to find a sense of purpose in our life. In the face of crisis or tragedy, find a sense of purpose can play an important role in your recovery. This might involve becoming involved in your community, cultivating your spirituality, or participating in activities that are meaningful to you. So don't wait and forget your past memory. Just be a positive person and stay resilient in yourself. Thank you.